Today's video is sponsored in part by Vendu. Hi everybody and welcome to another thrift with me. Today I am comparing two savers. I happen to be at this savers in the morning, which is my local savers. And then later in the day, I need to run an errand in Natick Mass. And I am going to thrift that savers too and see which savers won. Sometimes I find some higher end brands at the Natick location, um, but this is like my home base. So I always enjoy thrifting here. So let's see what I find. I am absolutely in love with these heels. How gorgeous are they? Um, I've never heard of this brand, Pele Moda, um, and they were $10.49, and I was a little discouraged by the comps on these shoes. I mean, some were decent, but some were as low as $7, so I passed on those, but looking at them now, I kind of wish I had grabbed them. These are vintage and I really loved the style of them, but I do have a lot of jeans in stock right now, especially in smaller sizes. I loved the ad for the acid wash bonjour jeans. I'm sure that that little vintage advertisement helped. I also liked the waist on these jeans right here. I think that was unique. Um, but the comps for my style jeans, you know, I could have made like 30 to $35. I decided to leave them behind since I have so many small pairs for sale at home. This is a beautiful Karen Millen silk, like little bolero jacket in yellow. And if you see the original price tag, it's pretty impressive. This is $12.99. I debated on this for some time, um, but in the end, I'll explain a little more later, I ended up deciding to leave it behind. The errand that I'm running in Natick is to pick up a Louis Vuitton secondhand agenda that I purchased on Mercari and had repaired. I'm always on the hunt for some quality leather binders and agendas to flip, mostly Franklin Covey. The comps and condition of this one just didn't warrant the pickup. I spotted these adorable pictures from Disney, just a Mickey and Minnie. Oh, I just love the black and white vintage vibe to those, but they were just from TJ Maxx. They were only priced at $3.99 and I was tempted to grab them, but I just am not great about listing hard goods and have a few backlogged. So I'm really trying to be picky if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I saw this painting and I thought, oh, this is gorgeous. I wonder who the original artist is on this. It was super heavy and then I flipped it. And once again, home goods, TJ Maxx, that one fooled me. I left that behind. And finally, something I really love. I love the style. Um, it is vintage, it is mohair. The price is right. I was very excited about this. Um, the only downside was that we are heading into summer, but I still loved it. This was a new brand to me, Gerard Durrell, and it was said Paris on the label, which prompted me to look into look to it. Definitely a high-end brand. Comps were kind of inconsistent. They do take it at the real real. It was priced at $11.99. I put it in my cart. These Steve Madden boots I thought were adorable but you're gonna see the price on them is like $16.99, I believe. Had some extra laces. Comps were good on some um, listings that I saw and not so great on others. These Stuart Weitzman, I liked the color of them. I thought they were interesting, but they were damaged, left those behind. At the end of my trip, I realized that I did not have a coupon. And so I'm reassessing all of these things. I loved this denim jumper. It was $11.99, vintage, dead stock. Probably should have grabbed this as well, but I was a little flustered at the end when I realized I did not have 20% off. So I kind of had to reassess everything that I was getting. I just left Louis Vuitton and picked up my agenda. I will show it to you during the haul and explain um, the deal that I got on that. I'm heading over to Savers now. I would say that this afternoon at my local Savers, I didn't do so great because I didn't have my coupon with me. And it just wrecks my mood when I don't have a 20% off coupon. But I think I spent enough that maybe I'll have a 20% coupon at this Savers. But it's also seven o'clock at night. So I don't know if I'll have the selection because they usually stop putting stuff out around four o'clock. So let's see what we can find. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I have New Balance on my brain because I had picked up a really nice pair um, at the Savers earlier in the day, which I'll show you, but they weren't my size. So I'm looking for some sneakers for myself. These Merrells aren't bad. I don't love to sell Merrells. They actually sell well. They're just not my favorite style, um, but those were $12.99. You can also see these racks are really picked over. These are really uh, empty racks for savers and you could see outside as we were driving in it was an absolute mess outside uh, like this store had just had quite a day <laughs> and these people were ready to call it a day so you can see that my selection isn't going to be great here but I did happen to spot these tray torn or tree torn sneakers and they're in beautiful condition and happen to be my size so I was very excited to grab these. I do like to sell this brand. I think it's called Ola Kai. Am I saying that right? Uh, I always think it's true religion at first glance. These just had a little bit of excess wear, so I decided to leave those behind. And then this Lulu's dress was cute, but not for $16.99. I'm sitting on a couple Lulu's dresses right now. This dress uh, was also priced high, and I'm not the best at listing like formal gowns, long dresses. They just take a little bit more time. To list and it was also $24.99 so I left this behind as well. I have definitely seen a significant rise in prices on some of the basic brands. I mean, I do find that a lot of the savers in my area still mark up uh, Torrid. This was priced well though. Then you see something priced at $5.49 for Merino Wool. This was a size 3X and I almost grabbed it, but I noticed a tiny hole um, towards the bottom. this is a bit of a bust they close in like five or ten minutes and I've only found one pair of sneakers and everything's picked over it's kind of messy so I don't think it's happening at this store okay this is my vibe I got this men's Pendleton t-shirt 349 and these tray torn sneakers for me and I found a pair of Levi's at anthropology that were just $20. So this is going to be my look. But other than that, there's not much here. Hi everybody. Welcome back. It is the next morning and I wrapped up my thrifting at both Savers pretty underwhelming if I'm being honest, but I did manage to get some stuff that I really enjoy. And one thing in particular that I'm really excited about for myself. So first up, I wasn't able to use a coupon. Usually I will not shop at, at Savers unless I have a 20% off coupon, but because I was filming a video this day and I just, you know, I just decided I will take the hit on the discount and just shop, but it did really impact my decisions making at the end. I definitely put things back that I would have kept if I had been able to use the 20%. So it's funny when you reflect on like, what is your threshold? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through what I got at the first savers and then what I got at the second savers. Then I'm gonna show you my agenda that I picked up and talk a little bit about that. I also picked up one thing at Anthropology that is too tight, so I'll be selling them. And also about a week ago, I had filmed um, like a spring trends video that if you remember I mentioned that I had deleted the footage I'm gonna show you the things that I picked up that day this will turn into a decent haul at the end but let's just jump right in the first thing that I got excited about for myself was this Old Navy dress this was just $5.99 so that I could handle especially since it was for myself it just is this little, um, I don't know if it's quite a leopard print, but it's like a little animal print and it's a tiered skirt, very simple, loose fitting. Um, I'm going to Naples to visit my brother in a week. Jay and I are taking a trip, so I needed some summer dresses. So I grabbed that. Of course, I will wear it with a black cardigan. That's my vibe. So I picked that up at the first store. These I ended up um, deciding at the register whether or not to purchase them because there was no price tag on these. So I've never picked up this brand, so I'm trying it out. The comps are a little mixed. Well-formed shoes for natural walking. The brand is called Think. 
Let me know if you've ever picked up these shoes before. So a couple things. The retail on these shoes are over $150. It's a pretty high-end site. I believe they're a European company. The sizing is 39 is the size. But the second reason I picked these up were because they had a little cat on the toe. And there are a lot of cat fans out there. So they were made really well. They were in good condition. And when I got to the register, um, the store manager said I could have them for $6.49. So I'm hoping to get between $45 and $50 for these. And yeah, I was kind of excited to try this new brand. So we'll see how they do. These, I was so sad they didn't have these in my size. These had just been rolled out in a cart and they were still in the shoe cart and I don't like to like grab. So I asked the woman who was putting them away, I'm like, can I take those New Balance? And she said, oh, absolutely. They were $13.99. So this kind of killed me to pay $13.99, but they are like brand new. These are the 574s. And I'm really trying to get to know New Balance a little bit better. My girlfriend, Laura Von V, is a fantastic stylist. She has a very style-based channel. If you're not following Laura, you're missing out. I find a lot of trends on her channel and she's just generally so much fun to watch. And she wears everything and she's obsessed with her New Balance. Um, so I've been like, maybe I want a pair of New Balance. And I loved these because they're almost like this gray beigey color with the suede and they have the soft blush pink they're perfect but they're seven and a half so i'm going to be selling these these retail for i think 85 dollars these are like new condition they're a more um, modern pair so i'm probably going to list these for like 65 dollars which is why i didn't mind paying up a little bit this portion of the video is sponsored by my friends over at vendu i know i do a lot of sponsored content for Vendu, and so I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So I found this article that Vendu wrote called Five Things You Didn't Know You Could Do With Vendu. Some of them I do, but some of them I don't. So I'm just gonna cover these five points quickly. This was written by Deanna Balestra, who I had the opportunity to meet when the Vendu team traveled to Massachusetts. If you've mainly been using Vendu only to cross post and relist, then you've only scratched the surface of all the software can do. Here are five things Vendu can do that you probably didn't know about. Number one, create drafts on the go with your smartphone, which I talk about all the time. This article was written before they launched the app. You can create drafts as I had and then save them and finish them on your laptop or desktop. But now you can go from start to finish now on your phone with the new app that they launched. So that's fantastic. This one sounds really cool. You can keep track of tasks, special inventory, consignment, or anything else you can think of using custom labels. Now, this is something I haven't tried out yet. You can add a label to the inventory you want to put on sale or liquidate. You can create a label to mark the inventory you want to take new photos of or sort your inventory by where it was sourced using labels. I find that one particularly interesting because I think over time it would be cool to look back and see what you're buying from certain places and then what the sell-through rate is from a particular store. So I'm definitely going to look into creating some custom labels. You can also download a CSV file to deep dive into your data. Vendu has a powerful and easy to use analytics tool but built right in to help you discover your best selling items. I've talked a little bit about analytics but what you can do is you can download a CSV file to use in any spreadsheet program. You can customize the time frame and what data you want to pull or you can just pull it all in one report. Number four, you can add extra listings on a busy month. Using this model helps keep prices low for newer or part-time resellers while allowing you to scale your plan along with your business as it grows. So what happens if you run out of items on your plan towards the end of the month and you still have more items to list? You can easily purchase 20 more items at a time for a few bucks without changing your monthly subscription. That's cool. I don't think I knew that. You can also change plans each month depending on your workload. I did know that. You can switch from month to month. And number five, pay for your monthly Vendu subscription by becoming a Refer a Friend member. Signing up is easy. When you share your affiliate link, Vendu will pay you a 20% commission for the first six months 
of a subscription. Payments take place every 15 days and you can look your stats up on your dashboard. So yeah, if you enjoy Vendu like I enjoy Vendu, you can share it with a friend. When they sign up, you earn a commission for the first six months. So thank you to anybody who has ever used my link. And more importantly, I hope you're really loving the platform. I thought this was a fun little article and I wanted to share it with you today. If you're interested in trying out Vendu, you can click the link in my description and save 25% off your first month of service. Um, this is a new to me brand too. I showed these, I showed I think everything in the thrift with me, but these are maternity leggings. The brand is Blanky, if I'm saying that right, B-L-A-N-Q-I. And I got two pairs, I got black and this army green, which I really like. And I think they kind of move with you. I think the idea is that you can wear these during your pregnancy and then postpartum as you know, you're transitioning back um, to life before the baby, which never really is the same, but this gives you the opportunity to grow with and then postpartum, which I really like. And the comps on these were around $40, between $35 and $45, I think were the comps. And so these were each $6.99, so I decided to grab both the black and the green. And I'm always excited to have some maternity. Currently, I just have one pair of the brand Hatch uh, pants in my closet, and I have them priced pretty high, so they haven't moved yet. That's, that's an item I should probably relist. Um, I also picked up these overalls from Free People. I think I also showed this. I couldn't even find the tag, so I just zoomed in on the button. And that's a trick sometimes. If you're having trouble, uh, or, or if like a brand doesn't have a label, I think this did have a label, but I just couldn't see it right away. Just zoom in on the snap. And if it's a good brand, nine times out of 10, it will be branded. So these are real short shorts. I liked how the bib kind of rounded in the front. Most overalls go straight across. So I thought these were really cute. And the comps on these are pretty steady between $35 and $45 as well. So I think I have these priced at $49 or $50. They're a size 28. And I paid $5.99 for those. So you can see I ended up grabbing mostly with the exception of the New Balance, the stuff that came in, you know, under $7. I guess that was my cutoff. This sweater was debatable, but then again, it wasn't. It's vintage, it's mohair, it's neutral. I love the hood. I love the style of it. I feel like it's vintage, but it's a very current look. Uh, the buttons actually button from behind. So there's these, these tiny little buttons on the back and you button from behind. Because when I first looked, the hole was so small and I thought to myself, how am I gonna get that giant button in there? But then when I looked closer, um, I noticed the way that it was styled. So the brand is Paul at Duffier. I'll show you the tag. Some of the comps on this brand are really good, but you can see the detail up close. I looked very carefully. I did not see any flaws. Very much out of season, but I list stuff all year round, so we'll see how this does. And this was only $3.99 or $3.49, and that was the deciding factor for me. I think if this was even $7.99, I may have passed on it. And I'm hoping to get between $30 and $40 for this as well. Okay, some flip-flops I got, and I posted these on my story, and a lot of people commented. Um, I found these Tory Burch flip-flops and these were just $2.99. They are not in the greatest condition. You can see on this side that some of the pattern has worn off and in the back, you can see the wear, but when, when the shoe is on, they look fantastic. And yeah, for $2.99, I did. I read the comps on these first, which I don't typically do for shoes for Tory Burch unless they're priced high because typically her shoes do pretty well for me, I think more than her clothing. But because they were a little worn, I'm like, well, let me see. If the comps are like $25, $30 and they're worn, then maybe um, this wouldn't be a good pickup. But the comps on flip-flops were like $40, $50, $60. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna grab these. So I'll note the difference. The only problem is that I can't find the size. The size must have been on the bottom and it's worn out and I'm pretty certain they don't fit me. So I would say they're like a seven because I also got these Javianas, which I love and I'm keeping. These are slightly big for me. They're a 3940, but I mean, this is me. I'm like a 39. So if I put them side by side, 
there's not like a huge difference. So I'm guessing these are like a size seven, eight. So I would say these are probably a 37, 38. Um, so that's what I'm gonna price them at. And I'm gonna measure the bottom, but I'm hoping for like 25 or 30 on these, which isn't bad for $2.99 investment. So the Javianas I am keeping, they're super cute. I love the old fashioned beach scene in the palm trees on the, uh, inside. I love picking up Javianas. You can sometimes find them really cheap. They're usually just like an $18 or $20 flip, but a lot of places don't mark their, um, their flip-flops up. So you'll know right off the bat if the store you're shopping at knows the brand because they'll mark them up a little bit. I mean, brand new, they're like $30, $40, and you can find them at Nordstrom Rack for $25-ish. Correct me if I'm wrong, but anyways, I love them. I like to have a pair every summer. Um, and this is a new to me brand that I'm trying out. Um, again, I picked this up thinking maybe I could wear this in Naples over a bathing suit. Oh man, I just noticed a hole. Nope, this is definitely going back. Look at that. I'm like, st I'm sitting here and I can just see through the, cause it's very gauzy. I saw light poking through. Oh, I'm glad I didn't take the tag off. Yeah, this will go back. So here's the hole. The cool thing about savers is they do take exchanges. So you can't do a return, but you can exchange. So I will definitely take this back because this was $6.99. And maybe when I go back, I will bring something to donate because every time you donate to Savers, at least in my area, you get a 20% off coupon. So I either have something in my car all the time to donate or I um, earn a 20% off coupon because every $100 you spend, if you're part of the Savers Club, you get a 20% off coupon. So I always have one or the other, which is why I was so sad on this day. So I ended up spending $63 at that first stop. Um, I found more at the first stop than I did at the second stop. The reason for that is simple, in my opinion. When I was at the first stop, which is my local savers, about 15 minutes from my house, not even, it was prime time. I think I got there around 11 a.m., 10, 10.30 a.m., and I was there until like one so I spent more time there and they were just filling the racks. I mean, every time I turned around, they were pulling out new racks. I haven't been doing as well at my local savers because they now do have signs on the rack that you can't shop the new rack coming out. So you have to let the women who are like stocking the floors kind of have their space, do their job. Sometimes a sign won't be on there, but I know they don't want really people going through it. So if I happen to see something that really catches my eye, I'll wait till the attendant is there and then I'll say, would you mind if I look at this? But I'm not like standing in front of it going through the rack. So I have to believe that I'm missing a bunch of stuff. I don't know how much that's going to impact how my sourcing goes over there at my local savers, but I feel like I'm there enough that I can usually find something because I'm there all the time. So the second stop I showed you, I found this Pendleton t-shirt right as I was leaving. And I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this for myself because it's a men's and I don't really, I feel like t-shirts aren't really my look. If I do wear t-shirts, I usually wear a V-neck or I cut the cut the, um, the neck. But I've been on the hunt for something in this cinnamon color that's oversized. And actually one of the spring trends that I saw was just big oversized t-shirts with like bike shorts. It's just such a simple look and it reminds me of like the early 90s when I wore that myself. With that in mind, I thought I have some black bike shorts that would be easy again in Florida. Just, I don't know, not like the most flattering look on me, but I still love this color. But the shoes, the sneakers that I bought, I was really happy about. And I also didn't have a coupon here. So the shirt was $349 and the sneakers were $1099 or $1049. These I'm very excited about. This was kind of the look I was going for for the new balance. So you can kind of see the similarities in the sense that they're pretty minimalist looking. They both have the suede. They're both kind of like earthy tones. Ideally, I would have liked more of an athletic sneaker. I need an athletic sneaker. I have Adidas right now and they're just kind of beat up. So I'm still on the hunt, maybe for Mother's Day or something, but these I am just really excited about. I just love this color and these were my size and I believe they sell this brand on the J. Crew website and these retail for $85. So the fact that they were in such beautiful condition made me very happy. So it wasn't a fail of a day. It just wasn't like a crazy day. I think I just always get a little 
angry when I don't have my coupons. The other thing that it forced me to do was to just make some quick decisions because sometimes I just pile things on my cart and I think we all could benefit from being a little bit more selective at the register. So when I didn't have my 20% off coupon, it forced me to be more selective. Um, I ended up putting back a backgammon set and only because it was big and bulky and I didn't have a bag with me. It's funny the decisions you make. That uh, backgammon set was only $5.99. And if you look at comps, sold comps on backgammon sets, they're really good. The reason in the end I didn't pick it up was A, because it was a little bit big, and B, in back of me on the other side of this wall, we have like a closet. I have it stocked with a lot of my USPS priority boxes for shipping, and I have all my coats in there, my inventory, but up top I probably have 40 Monopoly games. Maybe I'm exaggerating, 25? Anthony used to collect Monopoly games and it's been on my to-do list to sell them. I know we have some rare ones. I just need to go through all the sets piece by piece and I thought to myself, don't bring a backgammon game home. Sell some of the Monopoly games and free up space in that closet. So that is what I decided to do. There was a lot less selection when I went to the second stop. They were closing at 8 p.m. So it was just totally different circumstances. Even though they were both savers in, this, in similar areas, it was like apples to oranges because in one store, I was there earlier in the day. There were several associates that were stocking the floor. I had three hours to shop. My second stop, limited time, end of the day, no new inventory out on the floor. The store was totally picked over. You saw as I was driving in, the outside was an absolute mess with donations. Things were just thrown everywhere. So it was just a little bit more difficult to find stuff. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you my Louis Vuitton agenda. Hold on. It was really nice that it was pre-owned when I brought it in, but when I went to pick it up, they had it in this cute little bag. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because if you have an item that is repairable that you've been sitting on, I just wanted to tell you what my experience was. The size that I use every day is the GM and that's the largest size, and I wound up purchasing that full price at the store. They're very hard to get a hold of at certain times of the year, and I was looking towards Christmas time, which I think when, uh, is when a lot of people are thinking about planners and agendas, and they were just sold out, sold out, sold out. So finally, I found one that was in stock. I wanted the Damier Abin print, if I'm saying that right, which is like the checkerboard print, the Louis Vuitton checker print, but they only had the monogram. But before I bought the GM, I had purchased the MM size off of somebody on Mercari. So what happened was I had a credit on Mercari because I don't sell there anymore, but I had like $200 in credit. And I saw this, but it was missing the snap. And it was priced at like 379, which was actually a really good price because a lot of these go for between five and $650 very regularly, even, even as low as like four something, but 379 was really good to begin with. I messaged the woman, I asked, is this something that can be repaired? She said it could, and somehow it came up in conversation that I was familiar to her from my YouTube channel. So she was so sweet. She offered me 250 or 200, I think it was 230, $35. She offered it to me. She, she initially said, I'll give it to you for your $200 credit. I just didn't feel right. I'm like, just tell me what you would feel comfortable with and I'll just pay the difference. So she offered it to me for like 230 something. So I only paid $30 out of pocket, which was amazing. So to have the snap repaired is $60, which may sound expensive, but when you're dealing with these pieces that are between five and I think the larger agendas are up to like $750, which is crazy. Okay, wow, the large are now up to $920. Louis Vuitton has had several price increases, just like Chanel. Um, so yeah, I cannot believe this is up to $920 for the large. So the MM retail is $675, which is what is warranting those high prices secondhand. I recognize the insanity um, in paying for these luxury pieces, but everybody has their thing, you know? And for me, I kind of like Louis Vuitton. So I dropped this off in October, October 26th, to be precise, and I got a text message two days ago. It took over six months to get this back, but it's like brand new, and they said now this one will be guaranteed if anything happens to this snap. So all it is is a little snap, and that simple. That costs $60, but the inside of this is just beautiful. Like the condition of this was flawless, 
But that's what happens sometimes with sellers. They just don't want to deal with certain details. So they would rather sell something as is than pay for something to be repaired. I've done the same thing. Like there are sweaters I would rather sell as is than stitch it. Louis Vuitton, I was gonna go the extra mile to get this in good shape. So I'm gonna hold on to this for a little while. I just ordered very inexpensive lined paper off of Amazon for refills. They're coming today, I'm very excited. If I don't end up using this and reaching for this, then I will definitely sell it and I will probably list it for like between $500 and $600 because that's what they go for, which is crazy. And then I will take that money and put it towards something else. But um, this was part of our travels last night. Let me know if you've ever had something repaired at any luxury fashion house and how long it took and what the pricing was and how the customer service was. This woman was so nice. And I told her I was a reseller somewhere during our conversation and she was, she was just so lovely and we exchanged information. It's also really nice to get an essay um, who you, whose contact information you have, and that's a sales associate. So once you have um, the information of a sales associate, and if there's an item that you want, you have a direct number to the store to contact somebody. That's like a little hint that I learned from watching other YouTubers who specialize in luxury items. So that was um, overall a really fun night. And then we went to Nordstrom Cafe, and I got my favorite uh, Caesar salad. They grill like one big piece of Parmesan cheese and it's flat and then you break it up and put it on your salad and they make homemade croutons. They're the best Caesar salad. I don't get Caesar salads anywhere but at Nordstrom Cafe. Okay, let's switch gears. I'm gonna grab some of the stuff that um, I never showed you from my spring trends haul. There are some really random things in this pile. <laughs> now this I did have my 20% off coupon. We are gonna start with this Levi's jacket. This just cute Levi's. It's an extra small. This is definitely not vintage or anything but it's a cute classic jacket so eight dollars for a, a denim levi's i will definitely pay that probably 30 to 50 dollars for this i haven't i haven't priced this out yet it is cropped and it's an extra small i also picked up this kipling bag and i was really excited about this because Typically, when I find this brand, the little monkey is never attached. Or if it is attached, it's much more expensive. So this was just $4.99, and then the little guy was on it. So I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't priced this either. I think I got so flustered when I deleted all the footage. Um, but this is in excellent condition. So here's little monkey. And I think this stuff sells even without the monkey, but I think the little guy really does add. So here's the tag for Kipling. So what I didn't realize was that this is actually a backpack, which is even cooler. Um, so I saw that this hook was here in the back and then it attaches to the bottom. I wonder if you can wear it any other way, but I think that's probably even gonna help the sale. I'm excited to get that listed. It's also a nice lightweight uh, type of travel piece. So I was excited for that. This is just a We The Free that I almost passed on, uh, but it was just $3.99 plus 20% off, which made me happy. And it is their classic thermal. It's very fitted. Um, and what I liked about this was that these were the cuffs. Usually they have like the detailed cuffs that go up the sleeve. I've never seen one with like an actual cuff that folds over. So it's plaid on one side and it has these really nice detail buttons. When you fold it, it is floral on the other side. So it looks as if it could be a little bit of an older style, but it is a We The Free tag and I think it's really cute. So I'm hoping to find a stock photo for that to see how it goes. <laughs> this was a this was a fail. Well, it, it was, at least it's a fail for me. You're gonna laugh when I put this on. Now I know I model a lot of my hats and I like, I like hats. This is size seven. Elegant is the brand. Uh, made in Michigan, La Mexicana. So there's, there's all sorts of branding on the inside, which is usually a good indication of quality. But when I put this on, I feel like the man in the yellow hat. When I bought this, I had no idea it was going to sit so high on my head. So this is not what I was going for. I, I should have, I mean, the quality is so nice and it's like a vanilla color with little flecks of gray and it's in such nice condition, and it wasn't a lot of money. I don't have the tag on it now, but I think it was probably $3.99 or something. So 
all things were pointing to this is a really cool hat and then I got it home and I looked like the man in the yellow hat. I don't know where to begin with this, but I will list it because now it's past the return point and it wasn't that much money to begin with, but isn't that funny? I'm sure somebody will look really good on it, in it, but not me. Uh, I loved this skirt. This is like a really distressed, patchy denim skirt by Ralph Lauren. Um, this was $6.99. Um, and I looked up comps and they were pretty good. I wasn't sure. Because I feel like right now what's trending with Y2K is like the real mini, like the micro mini skirt in denim. And this is just a very like classic denim style. I feel like this look doesn't really go out of style or maybe I'm just old. So this is what was in style when I was younger, but it's Polo Ralph Lauren. So this is a tag that I like to grab and all the distressing is really nice. I'm hoping for um, between like 38 and 45 for this skirt. So I was psyched about that. Two more things and they are accessories. You know, I think I actually put away some of the stuff that I bought for this video. So these were just kind of hanging around. This is Y2K vibe for me. So I'm excited to list this on Depop. It looks like a vintage wool SeaWorld hat. This was $3.79. It says SeaWorld Adventures here. See, it's like an older tag large extra large it's acrylic and then 15 percent wool but it says adventure parks it just has this funky font this reminded me of like von dutch or y2k i thought it was cute it's like a flat hat this one's kind of fun it's big for me um i don't know how this is gonna do but i'm probably gonna price this around 28 30 dollars and then lastly was this vintage little purse thingy. I don't know. I thought this was so cool. It reminded me of like an old lunchbox, but this is like a resin. It's not tin, uh, but the structure of it was really cool. I thought it was really interesting and it was $4.99 and it just lifts off and there is some, I can't see it inside, right? but you probably can't see it right now, but there is a brand and it's noted right here. Uh, but I thought this was such a cool little purse. I thought somebody could rock this. It says solar and it has like the sun and then there's like an A at the top and some of the writing underneath is worn off. I have no idea with pricing. I mean, just looking at it, I'm thinking like 30, um, but I really don't have any idea where this is. Okay, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun to compare the two stores, the pros and the cons, my frustration when I don't have a coupon and all that fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It means so much to me. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me and I'll be back soon with a new video. Thank you guys so much, bye. Remember, if you'd like to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description and receive 25% off your first month of service.